Hey everyone, I am back with another video. So today I want to show you my new beading area. So I did reorganize it. I did take a piece of furniture out that I really didn't need any longer. And um, I wanted to replace it with something new. But the way it's set up now, it's fully functional. It's easy to clean. It's easy to organize. And it's easy to work and film videos. So I really don't need to fill up that space with any more furniture. I'm trying to prevent that. I want to work with what I have. Um, I will be filming junk jewelry videos and beading videos. So those will be present, but um, yeah, after, <laughs> this fourth attempt I'm really happy with the way everything is set up now um, so let's get started with this video so right over here we have all my jewelry stands and with this I want to keep this updated with new finished jewelry projects and um, so forth. So I want to keep this in rotation. Um, I don't want to keep these filled. So I have some here and I have some here in this area. Um, yeah, so this is working as of now. Right over here we have my jewelry cart and this has all my tools, wires, string, chain, finished jewelry, jewelry projects, beading subscriptions, and uh, jewelry cups, and so forth. That needs to be organized. Um, since I took out that dresser that was here, um, this needs to be organized. So um, we can do that in another video, but that leaves lots of space here to clean and um, move around. Right over here, we have beads. I'm going to explain that in a minute. I have my chunky charms I need to relist. And this is projects like repurpose, repair, finish jewelry, and so forth. Um, right over here, we have my bags. Right here is my photo organizer with all my jewelry findings, which I'm very happy with. It's organized by type and this is the perfect system for me. I'm very happy with it. And yeah, that was a great investment. Right over here, we have more jewelry stands and this is what I need to fill up. So I am running low on inventory at the salon. So those videos will be coming up, but yeah. Um, so there's that. Right over here is my beading shelf. So right over here, as you can see, there's lots of space to move around, to work. And um, I'm very happy that this is out in the open because it being in that corner over there, it just wasn't working anymore. It, I didn't have any motivation to clean or make any jewelry. I didn't even want to really touch it. It was more so of like display. So it was, you know, there's no reason why all of this should still be full. There should be finished jewelry. <laughs> it, there's no, um, yeah, I, I need to get to work on that. But all these bead cases here are um, some of this is findings, like these here. Uh, these are all clasps. This is like mixed findings and beads in this. This is all mixed beads from um, previous like junk jewelry lots and bead lots. And um, this is shell right over here. So this is all stuff that I need to um, work on. Right over here is all my bead boxes by colors. Right over here, we have three empty bead boxes that I can fill with those beads right there. Um, 
yeah we're gonna fill those boxes up in another video um but all these bead boxes are laid upright so it's easy to access and um there's no way that they can pop open um so and um they're all facing the same way so also um down here we have um, more bead boxes this is uh findings gemstone gemstone chip gem gemstone chips um this is gemstones and beads this is um my box of like um glass crystals and seed beads right here we have mixed uh, metals of charms silver charms this is strands of beads this is uh, tubes of beads this is more uh, strands of beads that needs to go in this container i need to find something to fill that up and um, there's an empty box that i need to fill this is um, my um, acrylic uh, petal and flower beads. And this is more beads back there. Um, so, yeah, I just, I don't know. I love this new setup. And it's um, at least plenty of space to um, work, to clean and film videos and organize, so I'm very happy with this. Right over here is my beading table, um, but these are the boxes. These here, um, as I was trying to move this furniture here, I had to pull all these boxes down. And when I did, they were all over the floor, they were all over my bed, and I turned my back and these two bead boxes falls off my bed. Beads go all over the floor. Now I have all this furniture in the way, have bead boxes all over the floor, and now I have broken bead boxes with beads scattered everywhere. So I was trapped in this corner for quite a while trying to get myself out so I can clean this mess but um, I don't want to clutter this area. I'm really trying to keep this as open and as spacious as I possibly can. So these are gonna go in the trash and we're going to fill those beads in that bag in those boxes and put those beads away. Also, right over here, um, I have in this drawer i put all my little bead um boxes so i have these gold findings here in the back i have these little bead boxes here that i need to sort through and organize i have these from that bead lot i have those back there I got more back there and then I have my um, bells for the holidays um, so um, this is like the perfect area for these boxes it's, it's functional but I would like to put these in here um, because this is you know, um, this, I want to put like, um, junk jewelry and so forth in here. Um, when I get those, um, boxes and bags. Um, but this is all stuff that I need to sort through. This is just like, this is beads and findings. This is jewelry that I need to pull apart. This is more jewelry that I need to repair. This is a mix of everything. This is bead dangles that I need to do something with. 
just, it, it, it just, it's never ending. So, because this is so full right over here, I want to move this to, to spread it out so it doesn't take up so much weight on one side. Um, so, we're going to do that in another video, but I do like the way it's set up right now. It does look very functional, but it's not practical right now. Um, I do need to move those. Right over here, we have my seed beads. So I did take out those baskets. So that's something I, I forgot to mention. Those baskets, I did take them down. I really didn't need them. They took out a lot of space. And to go through these, you know, it's just, they were thrown in a basket. So it's like, I really didn't want to mess with it. But now that it's out in the open, I can just sit through this and just find what I want and yeah. So if I could find a little container to put this in, that would be great. But as of now, this is where this is going to go. There is no way I can put that in these drawers. Um, so they're going to live down here in this drawer. Um, this is sea beads. This is a bag of sea beads from eBay. Um, this is uh, crystals, a bag of crystals. Um, more mixed beads here. So, um, yeah, but I have everything in bags and, it, and it's pretty organized. Um, so, yeah. And then right over here is all my uh, mixed beads. So, um, yeah, I have Shaw here that I think I'm going to give away to a family member because she loves Shaw and she works with Shaw. So, um, I might be leaving this for her um, if she wants it. It's just a mix of beads here and this is Paul's bag of pearls here um, so this is just um, that's one and then this is two so um, yeah I would love to put these rubber bands um, in there so I need to um, I need to make room for that um, yeah, I need to put these away, um, but yeah, this is more beads and so forth, so this needs to be organized as well, and um, yeah, so that's where that stuff lives, so yeah, I have a lot of space, it's working, um, I made it work for me, and um, when you have limited space like this, you need to do what works for you, you need to figure out um a space system and um just go with it so that's um what i've been doing for the past day um like i mentioned before it did take about three hours to do this and um this is finally working for me and i'm very happy with this um system so, also when I have this here, I can always put this in this corner here and there's plenty of space to walk. And um, so, yeah, I'm happy with this. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.